Wednesday we've got the second day of the Dancing Bank Girls Schools Cup. So um, yesterday we were in Cookstown, we had 10 teams taking part. We've got 19 here today. Um, and then the next stage for these guys is to fight it out for a place in the quarterfinals and semifinals. They'll take place um, We commence on the 14th of March. And then two lucky teams will go through to the final Kingspan on 3rd of April. We've got the sort of juniors who are playing the development side and then we've got sort of senior teams playing the more competitive side obviously it's just to get experience going before the competition really sets in. You know the skills are each year they're improving within the school and then to get girls in the younger side especially getting them going just so that by the time they reach that competitive stage they're ready to play that competitive level. It's uh, absolutely brilliant. Um, it's really great to see that there's so many young girls out and about, especially with uh, the competitive and the um, development side here. Yeah. So it means that there would be a really good feeder into, into the potential of, of Ulster and Irish rugby. The tag is, is definitely giving a lot more girls the opportunity to get involved. It also makes you realise that rugby is a game for everybody, uh, regardless of your size or your ability and in, in TAG it, it builds that confidence. Um, first years right up until upper six, like girls that have played for seven years, girls that have played for like a few weeks, um, so everyone gets a chance to come down and play whether they're in the development side or competitive. I just hope that they get experience to go on and play and enjoy rugby the rest of their life.